Alright guys, today I'm so excited to talk about the LEGO Star Wars Snoke's Throne Room, which I actually bought recently, even though The Last Jedi came out last year. I waited for to buy this set for some reason, I don't know why it, it's took me so long, but this is a set I've always wanted. Whenever it was shown, like, to be announced, like, I've really, really loved the design of this set. And watching the movie The Last Jedi, this is one of the coolest... Um, authentic like set movie to set uh, Lego sets I think because it feels like you're literally like it is the exact Lego the exact set from the movie it looks just like the actual film and I love the authenticity to this this is so great um, and I really really love this set so let's get started and take away the box and down here we have the set now this I don't know where I'm gonna start Let's see, we've got five minifigures, so we've got two Praetorian Guards right here, and they're different than the ones from the Battle Pack, as they have the actual, like, skirt thing on the bottom, uh, like, tilted piece. Then there's the other one right there with a long sword. And I really like the sword design in the movie and in the Legos. Like, they're really cool having those sword designs. Um, and then, of course, you've got Rey and Kylo Ren, and I've got them in a pose. Um, unlike the box, because the box, of course, does not spoil, like, it looks like Rey and Kylo Ren are fighting each other, um, while in the movie that does not happen, and I love that in the movie, I love that they don't, I love that they fight with each other to survive, but I love how the box doesn't give you any implication of the spoiler of the movie, which I think is great, because Lego used to do that, spoil movies easily, and I think that this is great not spoiling it. So, you've got, I've got... I put them in a really great pose. I really like their, how they're stood right now. Um, and then turn this around. Actually, I can just pull it out. You have Snoke right here, which I think is really cool. And I think he also has, on the back of his head, he's even got, if this will focus, you can see that little crease on his head that's like actually like they painted that on there. And I think that's really cool. So he doesn't have a double head obviously because he doesn't have any hair but like I like how they went to the lengths to make his back have these scars on the back of his head that is so cool now if you look right here you got this mechanism right here which if you pull that it moves this and what it's supposed to do is in the movie how Ray is standing here next to Snoke and he uses the force to pull her and I just think that that is so cool like, it's such a cool little simple design, but the one thing I wish that they would do, even though it's too violent for a Lego set, is I wish that they would have used a mechanism like this to cut Snoke in half. Like, that would have been so cool. Like, I would have loved to see Snoke get cut in half um, in Lego form. That would be so awesome and just such a cool play feature, even though it's a little too violent for kids. Um... And also, right here, I'm going to do this mechanism next. So, take off Ray's lightsaber. So, Ray right here, you can sit her. Whoop, you can sit her right in here if my hands are not... My hands are too big for the sit, of course. But you can turn this around, and it's like Ray is literally coming into the scene. And I just think that that is so incredible that they go to that depth and do that with these... With this set, I feel like this is truly one of my favorite LEGO Star Wars sets overall. Um, especially that I own. There's a lot that I want, but this one is definitely a set that I really am so glad that I own. Just on the factor of how authentic this is to the movie. I love the movie, and I love this moment in the movie. Um, and also, so we got the Praetorian Guards, we got all the characters. We also got this little spot where... It's like whenever Snoke pulls Rey up, and she's looking out, like, if you... It's hard to see with a zoom in. See how it's like a zoom in, like, microscope to the outside, like, things are getting destroyed. Whenever Snoke says, like, like how Emperor Palpatine does it, where, like, he says that, like, all your friends are doomed. And I think that that is such a cool little play feature that they added that, too. Um... And on the sides right here, if you open these up, you've got weapons. You've got a, a goblet for some reason and a set of uh, of a chain and or handcuffs. And then you just it's easy to shut and open. That's really cool. And then go to the other side, and you've got nothing. But that's because they're holding the weapons. And also, what I've done 
for my display, because I keep this as a display, because it's truly one of my favorite LEGO Star Wars sets, is that I got the three guards from the battle pack, and I put them all in the set. Since we only got two of them, which I wish we would have gotten more, but I love this, where you can put these extra Praetorian guards in the set, so it's like they're really, really outnumbered, and also, what I do with Snoke is I just cut him in half, hold the legs, and literally just drop him down. Just hold him down like that, and so like he's decapitated. Or uh, not decapitated, he's got he's chopped in half. So I really think that that just this is how I display it on my shelf. Like I think this is such an incredible moment in the movie, and I just love adding these Praetorian guards to this set, which are not included. But I love adding them, and I love again, I love the authenticity of this set. This set is so incredible. It's truly one of my favorite Lego Star Wars sets, just in how authentic it is and how these characters in this moment of the movie are and just how they're portrayed and I love how I can pose them in this shot where they're both back to back about to attack and kill these uh, Praetorian guards who are going to kill them so I just really love this set this is a fantastic set one of my absolute favorite Star Wars sets so that is my review on the Lego Star Wars Snoke's Throne Room again this came out last year but I finally got a chance to buy it so I really am glad I finally did so that is my review and thank you guys so much for watching